At 4.30 p.m. on May 22, 2015, Lassen exploded in a powerful eruption, now known as a Great Explosion. Did you see this rock? Uh, during 1915, after the volcano, the avalanche carried it for 3,000 miles. Imagine, this rock is flying from the top of it, bursting from out of into the sky and flying, camping, camping, camping with a, such a speed and such a big bulb of hot rock. <laughs> I mean, like, really think about it. Good morning, my friends, and welcome to day five of our pretty amazing California road trip. We're now heading out of Susanville. We stayed here overnight and driving to Lassen Volcanic National Park. It is not well known, but certainly holds a few beautiful gems to discover. Okay, my friends, welcome to Lassen National Park. To be honest, it's end of July and it's still cold and we're gonna see some snow. July, August is the best time to come here, but it's gonna be a fabulous day no matter what. Since we had only half a day to spend here, really, we settled on one hike and a few magical stops along the way. The first stop is to see the lily pond. It is only about half a mile walk away from the visitor center and it is just so unexpectedly different from the rest of the park. It feels like a spa retreat with ducks and geese to keep you company. The lily pond, do you see? Oh my gosh, and there's all these little yellow lilies. But the leaves are so big, I haven't seen it so big. And it tucked in somewhere like in the middle of nowhere. It's a first stop, but it's very small, but small, but almighty. I honestly feel like today is a day of peace and calm. And yes, my friends, meet Lassen Peak. You will see a few amazing views of it today, I promise. So in early 1900s, the, you know, vo volcanoes started erupting and then somehow the entire thing basically kind of blew up and there were like ashes everywhere. And the volcanic activity were alive in this area for 3 million years. So, and there, of course, no way to predict when there's gonna be a next one, but they know for certain that this one day there's gonna be next one. So for us, quick stop number two is, uh, it's a reflection lake. So you can see this absolutely outstanding, majestic, gorgeous, can I give you more adjectives, last and peak. This is a reflection lake when it's still, you can only imagine that it, it is, okay, here's the picture <laughs> of the lake when it's still. Isn't this? absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, right now we have a little bit of wind, but nevertheless, this area is just beautiful. So the hike to see the Paradise Meadow is our stop number three. I think it's such a true representation of Lassen Park. Incredibly beautiful, tall pines and obstacles and stunningly gorgeous springs. To get to Meadow, it's one and a half-ish miles, a little less, one way. It is steep. Some areas are okay, some here are steep. I'm looking forward to coming back down. 
but every time the best part is you meet people they're coming down you look oh is it worth it and they all say like yes it's worth it that was only one kid the only one thing you need to know you're not even close <laughs> so we still have a way to go <sighs> i'm counting my steps Everything fabulous, you've got to work for. That hike was gorgeous. They say it's moderate, I say moderate strenuous. But man, I think it's worth it. Jeez. Lucky me. The rest of the sites needed no walking. There's a 30 mile drive through Lassen between southern and northern entrances with a few worthy stops. It was amazing to see how the landscape changed as we were ascending. Definitely not something you would expect to see in California at the end of June. <laughs> it smells like winter. It's fantastic. On the way down, we passed Frozen Lake. It was just so unexpected and so beautiful. Then we drove through absolutely beautiful Emerald Lake. Reminded me some gorgeous Lake Tahoe colors. Grand finale here, my friends, is definitely grand. Sulfur works basically bubbling mud pots. Keep in mind that in July and August you can hike bypass hell to see a lot more of hydrothermal activities. <laughs> Let me show you some soup with a rotten egg. <laughs> mud pots interestingly change with the season so during end of summer when there's a less precipitation it already dries up so it's a lot of it's more steam but less bubbly and wet clay but during spring when you still have all this rain water and snow water that's when it's like you know the pot is full of bubbly mud uh, so that's actually really neat you see that only in your kitchen not anywhere else usually Actually, about two hours from Los Angeles, in the area of Salton Sea, there are mud pots that you actually can walk by and, and experience all this, you know, all these mud pots um, very up close. I did a video about it. It's, uh, I'm gonna link it in the description for you guys to check it out. It's actually one of my favorite places to be, but the same idea, you know, it's only two hours from LA and this park is, really really neat so if you guys ever decide to come or if you are driving by especially it, you just at least do this 30 mile drive you're not gonna regret it to unwind from the day we decided on mexican food and beer so had dinner at carlitos in red bluff <laughs> That's my Rihanna burrito. Can you believe it? Just wanted to kind of, we're unwinding. Having some beer, cheers. Um, just wanted to kind of summarize for you the ending. Um, as, as we were driving back and as we were driving through the park, we could see so much fire damage. About a year ago, they had almost 1 million acres burned and fire has been in the area for quite some time. Um, a problem and they're really struggling to control it right now. We were, as we were driving by, we could see how they're working on controlling it. They're doing like a prescribed uh, fire. They, they do have to work a lot 
with because this area gets very dry and now the season is about to start so I know that you know we're trying so anyhow you guys it was a successful day once again and tomorrow we're off to through Reading to West Coast all the way to the ocean cities so that should be pretty awesome and exciting something very different thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow